942 is the time right now. Today's fabulous fall segment is taking us outside for a workout. And what better way to do it to celebrate the season than to do it with some pumpkins? All right, so Aaron Como live at the Sky Deck this morning showing us how it's done working out with the pumpkins. Aaron, I will say this, going to break, that, that pumpkin, that was not like, that was like a, <laughs> carrying around a two-pound weight in the gym. I think you're going to have to step it up a little bit. I wanted to ease into the segment, guys. That's our little pumpkin. we got a medium and a large, too. Personal trainer Tripp is here. He's going to show us how we can make the most of our fall decorations and actually get a workout in if you, you know, have these on your front step, right? For sure. I mean, look, the goal is right now coming out of a pandemic when health is at like its pinnacle, the best way to do it is, is fitness. You know, it's one of the best ways to make sure that you can keep your immune system up and bumping. So let's do some work. Especially if you want to be outside, mask free, let's do it. What are we doing first? Cool. So we're going to run through a couple different exercises, okay. right? So four exercises. So I'm going to have you grab that big pumpkin right there, right by the handle. Okay. You're going to take it. I want you to put it on the ground, though. I want you to put it right in between your feet. And I want you to angle so that you're right towards me. So pull okay. me that left hip. Cool. Perfect. So walk up, stand right on either side of it with both feet. Okay. I want you to send those hips back into a nice hinge, drive those knees out. And then I want you to start lowering your hips so your hands are on either side of the pumpkin with a nice broad chest. Now pop up, catch it. Ooh. Yeah. Now pull those elbows in nice and tight to the ribs. Now you're going to send your hips back and your knees out, and you're going to give me as many squats as you can. Nice and slow and controlled. Pull those elbows in nice and tight. Remember, they're best friends. You can feel they don't that in your tricep when you do that. Yeah. It's a little the, harder. And the idea is to get as much body engagement as you can. Remember, on the way down, force those knees out. Yeah, that's the depth we're looking for. So cool. here's the deal. Form obviously means a lot because it was a whole lot easier when my arms were flailed out and my legs weren't in the right form. How do you keep in touch with your form while you're working out? So the idea is uh, I want you guys to all focus, no matter who's doing this exercise, is that tension is key. You never want to necessarily be relaxed unless you're in a fixed position. Got cool. it. Okay, um, what's next? Exercise number two. All right, Whew. we're going to pull that second pumpkin out. I need that. That was actually really heavy. Yeah. Okay, what are we doing it with this you. one? So you're going to start off in that same position. So I want okay. in between your feet all the way down the ground. All right. On the way up, you're still going to do that same pop through the hips and you're going to catch it at the chest. But now what you're going to do is you're going to extend that pumpkin all the way overhead. At the top, I mm -hmm. want you to think, keep moving. At okay. the top, I want you to think, squeeze your glutes and pull that belly button in and drive through the top. So long through the top of your head. You're doing great. Okay. Nice and smooth. And how many of these would you do? So I would recommend you can do it based on reps, depending on how much weight you have. You want to think that you always want to leave a couple reps in the tank. So if you're like, hey, the maximum number of these I could do is 10, I think you want to do seven to eight. Right? Got it. You want to push to that 80, 70 to 80 percent. Right? From there, you okay. want to then, yeah, or you could always max it with time. If you feel like you have a light weight that you can do a ton of, right. as long as you're doing it with perfect form, you can go for a certain period of time and build in rest. Done. Right? What's next? I love it. Movement number two. Or uh, movie number three, you're gonna grab that tiny pumpkin. The one that they were all teasing me for using such a tiny little pumpkin. Yeah, yes. They're haters. All right. So give me this, uh, take like half a step back. I want you to lunge forward. Think of your two feet are on two different train tracks. So okay. You're gonna step forward with one leg. You're gonna lower that back knee so that's just above the ground. And then you're gonna rotate your chest towards the top leg. Yeah. And then come back to the center and then explode back up. And then same thing, opposite leg. Woo. Yeah, there we go. Oh my so God, I can feel that. When your feet start getting real narrow, it's going to start getting real wobbly. So think, keep them right and centered. Nice. Again, form is important. 100%. And the idea is only go as slow and as fast as you can while you maintain form. I noticed right? going slower helps me keep more controlled form. All yeah, right, Trip. For sure. We got to wrap it up. So tell everyone where they can get in touch with you for these great workouts. Look, best way to get in touch with me is on Instagram, as everyone is these days, if it's still working, um, at MakeGoBoom. Um, I can give you guys a ton of tips on personal training. I can tell you where to go in the city or in the DMV, whether it's a fitness studio or a big box gym, and we'll get you taken care of. Perfect, because instruction does help, because four matters, right? 100%. All right, pumpkin spice your workout, guys. What'd you think? Nice. Okay. I think the benefit is that you can always uh, you can carve your workout tools or maybe put them into pie when you're done, which is a good thing. <laughs> uh, and let's be honest. Thank you, Aaron, very much.